up to a year, you have to monitor, right? Because this is a new compound that you've put into somebody's body. When the complication is whether, and that's something the FDA looks very carefully at, if a physician doesn't record serious adverse event, which means the drug caused a person to go to the hospital. The drug caused a heart attack. The Got drug it. caused lymphoma. Now, it doesn't mean that the drug caused the lymphoma or the heart attack. But it occurred whilst but it on was the drug. it occurred within that one month time. Understood. So if a person dies from a drug, it doesn't have to be the vaccine. It could be any drug. We, our first job as a physician on the line of clinical trials is to call the FDA and say, by the way, patient died. That's a serious adverse event. Understood. And you have to report this. So when patients are dying shortly after the vaccine, to me, that's a serious adverse event because that's what I was taught. That's ICHGCP guidelines for doing clinical trials. Remember, I've done clinical trials for pharma. That's how for we do it. 30 years. Yeah. Understood. So basically, if all of a sudden this new technology of vaccine comes on, and we are not allowed to call this a serious adverse event, there's a problem, right? If we're making fun of the people that are, do you know, or, or saying, oh, they're crazy because they said they're vax injured, there's a problem there. Because the number one thing as a physician is to listen to your patient. And if the patient says, doctor, I was fine. And then after the vaccine, this happened to me. I'll, I'll give you an example. I was giving a discussion in a farm and this government person who will stay nameless, you know, he was all pro-vaccine, et cetera. He listened to my talk on the loss of bifidobacteria. And he came to my talk after and said, you know, you just made me realize my digestive issues, I didn't have them before the vaccine, but most likely something happened in my gut that created this, right? So intuitively, he figured it out. Now, so he didn't, figure it out before because he was like, well, I'm starting to have these digestive problems, et cetera. But when you explain to people that it kills your good microbes and you start having digestive problems, you put two and two together and you start saying, huh, maybe that's what happened, right? So, because this guy was perfectly fine before. Wow. So what does a vaccine injured look like? Or right. a person that has uh, an adverse event or serious adverse event, right. That's how we're going to call it rather than calling it vaccine injured. Mm -hmm. It's anywhere that's different from what you were before. Understood. And so, inexplicably. Exactly. So you lost hair. You know, you had hair before. Why are you losing hair? Heart you, issues. You know, heart issues, arrhythmia, um, you know, digestive issues, diarrhea. I have a lot of patients that have diarrhea and it's very difficult to fix. So what's going on? Have they trashed their gut? Then there's the gut-brain access, the neurological. That's what made us pay attention, me and my neurologist colleagues, you know, in Beverly Hills, because what happened was, um, you know, one of my colleagues was calling me and he said, I'm seeing a lot of CMV encephalitis and herpes encephalitis. And of course, none of those doctors wanted to talk about it. Well, uh, what's because CMV encephalitis? It's a, vi it's a virus. Got it. But so herpes, cytomegalovirus. wouldn't you get that from having sex with somebody? Or is that yeah, the but, vaccine? But, but why is the herpes all of a sudden acting up? Going to the brain. Oh, it's going to the brain? And causing an encephalitis. Oh, that's what you're oh, that's I'm what so I'm sorry, talking about. I didn't so, understand what herpes so encephalitis when, was. When uh -oh. a, Hold on. Yeah. Drop my mints. Yeah. No. <laughs> So when a patient is basically, you know, having a virus mm -hmm. and then that virus becomes all the way to the brain, then that's a problem. That means he's immunosuppressed. You herpes in your brain. Yes. CMV. I mean, so that those were the cases wow. we were seeing. That's really and here's the other stuff. things okay. that we were seeing. Yep. We were seeing new onset Parkinson's. New onset Alzheimer's. Remember, I told you at the beginning, I'm doing the microbiome studies yes. on, on, and we're seeing something in Parkinson's, something yes. in Alzheimer's. So my my wife keeping it real with Jillian Michaels.